Hi, I hope you're all well. Um, today I have an, well, it was supposed to be an unboxing video, but it's going to be a reveal of a special order item. I, I did do an unboxing and it was just disastrous. The drawstring on the bag, I couldn't untie it, it took forever, and anyways, I just wasn't happy with it and I didn't want to put you guys through it. So instead, it's going to be a reveal. Um, and I've already used the bag, um, so like one time, you know, I just got it yesterday, so I used it today, and um, which is a big deal for me because I'm actually using the bag and not afraid to use it. So, um, anyways, here's the the bag that it comes in, and it, it came in a huge box, which I'll show you in a second. But I just wanted to let you know I had this picture on Instagram, and it said, you know, special order item. I just went and picked it up from the uh, Rodeo Drive store. Any guesses? And there have been quite a few guesses. And actually, um, when I looked the last time, a couple people did guess it right. So this is a bag that I wanted as my first LV. And I just, if you, you know, I just got distracted. And if you watch my videos, you know, I got really distracted, very distracted. But um, I finally got the item, so I'm excited to share it with you. Okay, so here we go. Here's the bag it came in, and it the actual bag, the actual purse bag, uh, came with a bunch of air paper. I mean, just really stuffed. So obviously, it's a larger size bag. Just wanted to show you how it came, and it came in, of course, the big box, and. Inside here, I just have um, the ba the bag is over here. Inside of here, I have the of course the cord that wrap was wrapped around it, the leather cord, and the receipt. And I'll show you the skew in a second. Um, I'll show you the dust bag. The dust bag is hilarious. It's a drawstring one. And it's absolutely huge. I mean, I have this to my feet, and I mean, I could use this as a uh, potato sack race, you know? <laughs> so, really big bag. Okay, I'm ready to show you. So, I got the GM Mon Monogram. This is the GM Neverfull, and as you can see, it is quite large. Um, I did have this all planned out in my mind from last year when I got the um, iCat. I wanted to get the MM in the iCat because um, I didn't want to have to worry about cinching it since there were issues with it being cinched, you know, with the, with the pink peeling or whatever. So I don't cinch that one. And I figured with the GM I could do that and um, not worry. And also with the GM Neverfull in the Mon Monogram, you get the option of having the real thick stripe and the big letters. Where if you get the MM monogram, you get the thin stripe. I mean, obviously, it would look ridiculous having a big stripe on the MM. So, but anyway, I just like the look of how it looks. It's like, you know, that saying is go big or go home. So, obviously, I went big on this one. The options are you can, you know, choose your initials. I mean, obviously, not choose your initials. Your initials are your initials. You can choose two colors. You can do the thick stripe, the thin stripe. Um, you can do no dots. You can have dots. You can have no initials. You can have two initials. If you have no initials, you can just opt for the stripe going all the way around. Uh, what I did was I ordered this. You can order it on the website. And right now they updated the website so it looks just like this, the in-store one. And so that's great. But I recommend uh, going to the store and, and check it out because they have the actual swatch colors. And in the LA area, the two stores that do Mon Monogram are the Rodeo Drive, where I got it, and the Beverly Center. So they don't do them in all the stores. But let me give you a little close-up of this particular one. This is the Fuchsia. No surprise that I picked the Fuchsia, obviously. This is the Fuchsia with the Blue Claire, which is the lighter blue. Now there is another color that is more of a green. It's called Vert Claire, which I was debating about till I went into the store. Because in the pictures it looks like a Tiffany blue, but it's really not. It's definitely uh, green. It's like a light seafoam green. So if you're looking for blue, I would go for this one. 
if you're looking for green, go for that one. So, um, anyways, so this is it. Um, I, uh, I actually saw this recently, this, this bag, uh, at that movie, um, Three Days to Kill by, with Kevin Costner. His wife had the, uh, GM monogram and she was carrying it around the Mon monogram and she had a stripe like this with no initials and it was the blue color that I picked as the thick stripe and then kind of like an orange stripe on the side and it looked really beautiful because the bag was old and it just the bag looked stunning you know it was just that worked in look and the patina was kind of like that orange rust color and it matched the orangey stripe and it was just gorgeous and she was walking around with the GM size uncinched it, she looked so glamorous and it made me just really want this bag um, again. And, you know, I just get one thing I want to tell you guys. I am so nervous about using these bags. I, I feel like I want to use them. I want to enjoy them. I want to, if they get roughed up, whatever, you know, if they, they want, you want them to grow old with you and show age and beauty. You know, it just gets vintage and beautiful. Because I'm sure, like, the color is going to probably fade over time and, since the canvas is kind of, you know, the bumpy material, it's probably going to start showing little um, crinkles in the color. But again, it's just going to look beautiful with the vintage look. I mean, look how white the patina is. It's like, ugh, get some color there, you know? And, um, but again, I was telling my mom over the weekend, I'm just so nervous about using these items. I mean, I use them, but I just get so scared about anything happening to them. And she's like, just relax, enjoy them. They're there to last, you know? And again, when I saw that girl in the movie with it, I mean, it just, the bag just hung on her so well, it kind of like molded to her body and it just looked so beautiful. And so you guys give me advice on how to get past this, you know, paranoia of using these beautiful items. I just want to use them, relax, you know, just take them with me, take care of them, but not go crazy, you know. Um, but give me advice on that. <laughs> I need help. But anyways, getting back to the bag. So um, inside, Oh, and before I forget, it took a little, almost a month, just under a month. It, it can take anywhere up to eight weeks. It took about three and a half weeks when I got the call. Um, let me show you inside. I picked the fuchsia interior. And as you can see, it has the, um, the cursive writing. And that's the one thing, the one reason I wanted to get it now and not wait. I was going to wait till next year to get it. But I was worried about, you know, possibly them changing the font like they did the regular Neverfull. And, um, you know, not that it's a big concern or anything, but I just prefer the cursive writing. And also the little flowers that are in the interior, you know, the little uh, flower star things, you know, they took those away as well. And so, you know, they said, yeah, they'll probably start using the new font once the, the colored material goes out. You know, they'll reprint it and or when, you know, when they use it all up. So... Not, not a big deal, but I just prefer having the uh, cursive writing. So I got that. And, of course, it's made in France when you get it done. And um, also, let's see. Let me show you the skew. This is kind of interesting, the skew. It says, never full GM perso, obviously for personal. That starts with a P, and it's France, made in France. And um, it was fun when I ordered it. You know, they sat me down at the counter they gave me a, a drink, and I kept the little cloth napkin, I don't know, like a memento of the occasion, I guess. And the other thing I forgot to show in the unboxing was this, this piece that comes with it now. So this is another reason why I'm glad I waited till this year to get it. Because now you also get a little baby piece. So here it is. I was hoping I could change the initials to my daughters for this, but... They, they don't allow that, so. And it has a little D-ring because, I'll show you in a second, there's a little uh, strap to hook it on. Um, but super cute, and I really like the feeling of this. I know people complain, you know, like, oh, it's just not so great, whatever, it's not thick. It feels very well made. It feels kind of like a spongy foam. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Um, let's open her up. And I could see it can hold quite a few things. You know, it's not made to be like a pochette, you know, like the regular pochette. I mean, it's just an additional, you know, area to put cards or your cell phone. It has a little pocket there. And then right behind it, it's got the regular size. And then where, of course, again, where it says made in France with the original lining with the flowers and the stars and all that. So really cute. I mean, you know, I'm excited 
um, to have this little guy. I think it's going to be um, real fun. There we go. So there, there that is. And I wanted to show you inside really quick. Um, there we go. You can see on the on the actual D-ring right there, there's that little strap that hangs off the D-ring, and that's the one you can, you can detach it and hook it onto your little thing there. And like I said, I've already been using it, so I'm using it, um, oh, let me back up for a second. How I chose my colors, I hope you like my colors. I know they're kind of, you know, loud, obviously. Um, but when I went into the store, I spoke to a gal there, and, you know, we, I, I, sh I told her my first choice, which was this. And we went over and I said, I don't know, do you think it's too loud? And she goes, no, it's so fun, you know, do it. Because, you know, you have a boy and a girl, so it's like blue and pink for your boy and girl. And you're going to be using this as a family bag or a diaper bag or, you know, trip bag, whatever. But basically a family bag. So she said, stick with it. Because I was thinking of a few more options that were a little bit more low-key. But she said, go with your gut. And she said, I think it's adorable. And, you know, it kind of made me feel like, yeah, I'll go with what I want. So... If you are on the fence, just go with your gut of what you like. You know, you, you know better than anyone else. And don't worry if someone else doesn't like it. I'll probably, I might get some thumbs down, but I'll survive. <laughs> um, okay, so inside, I've already used it, like I said. I mean, and I, this, um, oh, well, this piece here is just my, it has my diapers, wipes, not for me, <laughs> for Briggs. Uh, diapers, wipes, a little onesie, you know. And then I actually ordered an extra jumbo here and inside you can see is my beautiful insulate wallet which I have attached to the D to this little key chain thing there it's not really full now I just kind of used it this morning and kind of just getting warmed up using it so I want to do some modeling shots for you and I want to compare it with the MM and I want to check my notes because I wrote a few things down I always forget after I do my video I'm like oh I forgot to tell them this Oh, let's see, uh, in store, real sponsors, website, take picture of what you order, lining, three days to kill, three and a half weeks. Yeah, I, t I, I, summed, I got everything. Okay, so let me do a, let me do some quick modeling shots with my um, comparison between the GM and the MM. And I think, you know, I've heard in a couple of videos, I don't know if it's true or not, that it's better to leave it unstinched for a while until it breaks in. So, um... I think I'm going to do that. They say maybe just around a month because it lets the leather soften a little so you don't get the wrinkling effect, which if I do, I don't care, but just because someone mentioned it, maybe I'll try it. But there you go. And I really don't think it looks like overwhelming, overwhelming large, you know? And I think by having the thick stripe, it kind of breaks it up a little so it doesn't look like this big, huge bag, you know? It kind of gives it, I don't know, just kind of makes your eye look at it in a different way. So it doesn't just look like a huge bag when it's uncinched. And then you can also, of course, wear it with uh, just the regular stripe if you want to do it like that. And then let me um, use my iPad and compare the MM with the GM. Okay, so right there. Side. Side, back, I don't want to turn too far, maybe right there, okay? And there you go. So I hope you like my video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, bye.